Hey guys, it is Ranger Jake Bowling here with another awesome virtual program of Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park. I am standing near the trailhead of one of our most popular trails, the Mountain Trail, and I'm standing in front of uh, one of our kiosks that has tells you where you are in the battlefield hours here in our Kennesaw Mountain uh, logo here in the National Park Service logo, and a really informative map of the park so that you know where you were going before you get started on the trail. It is a wonderful overcast day, so we're getting some nice, much needed shade in this June weather. Today's program is going to be on recreating responsibly. As the weather heats up and schools are out of se session, people are gonna start coming to the park more. And believe it or not, this is the most visited National Battlefield Park in the country. We are, and most of that visitation is through recreation and outdoor recreation, people coming to hike, people coming to jog, people coming to enjoy our almost 26 plus miles of trails. And we wanted to do this video to kind of get ahead of that, to remind you some really helpful tips to not only enjoy your stay more, but to be safe and to help others enjoy their visit here. And one of the handiest ways I thought to be able to present this information was by using a universal concept, well, I say a fairly universal concept on leave no trace principles. Leave no trace is a concept that was developed several years ago, and it's based off of seven principles seven principles to help us uh, enjoy the outdoors in a safe and responsible and respectable manner. So I'm going to kind of go through some of those principles, go through those seven principles and how they apply here and how they could be really useful tools to help you to remember to recreate responsibly. The, the first principle, I like to talk about it first because it's kind of the thing you should do first and it also ties into where I'm standing in front of these maps and that is to plan ahead and prepare. So the, the first way to do that when coming to Kennesaw Mountain is to figure out where you're gonna go. There are a lot of hikes. There are a lot of very easy short hikes that you can do here, and there are actually more difficult and strenuous hikes. So figure out what you wanna do and where you wanna go first. That'll tell you what kind of shoes you wanna wear, how much water to bring, and to check the weather. All those are ideas and concepts and when it comes to planning ahead and preparing. And let's not forget our furry friends too, our pets, when we're going on these long hikes. Think about your pet's ability. How long can they be outside in the heat? How much water will you need to bring? Are they active pets? Okay, keep that in mind. The number two uh, principle that we'll talk about when recreating here is to respect other visitors. So as I mentioned, this is the most visited battlefield park in the country. We saw 2.6 million people two years ago and just under that last year even in the midst of the pandemic. So we are going to be around. When you come to our trails, you are going to see other people. And it's important that you respect other visitors. There is a lot of different ways to do that. One way is to keep your, keep your music to a minimum. If you do like to listen to music while you hike, please use headphones, okay? Uh, move over. If you are in a bigger party, you can move over and let other people pass. Basic elements of trail etiquette are very important. And another, we talk about our pets. If we have pets and we know that maybe they get skittish around other people, maybe keep that in mind when thinking about how you're holding the leash when you're bringing your pets there and think about the crowd on the trail. The number three principle that we'll talk about is respecting wildlife. So we have almost 3,000 acres of green space and within that green space there is quite a bit of animals that make their home here in this place. Anything from various, various species of birds, birds of prey. We have lots of mammals here. We have raccoons, coyote, deer, all sorts of things. Now, a good way to respect the wildlife is to, if you see it, if you see, you will see deer. A lot of people see deer, squirrel, chipmunk, even raccoons. We ask that you enjoy them, view them from a distance. We have people showing us pictures of all these wonderful wildlife they see on the trail all the time. And we love those pictures because that means that they kept their distance and recorded what they saw. We really appreciate that. It is not, it is uh, disrespectful and downright dangerous to approach some of these animals. And we absolutely do not want you to do that. Okay, these are wild animals and we are unpredictable in certain ways. And again, going back to the pets, if you have pets, one of the other great reasons to make sure your pets are on a leash and, and maintain control of is so that they do not chase or agitate the wildlife. A number four principle that we'll talk about is to stay on the trail. So in any place, trails are cut very specifically. They are designed and maintained and put in very specific places to stop erosion, to get you to uh, the designated spot the easiest and most efficient way, and in Battlefield's case, to help preserve the surrounding area. 
you can't you can barely step foot off of our trails in some areas without stepping in the middle of earthworks or other historic structures so it is very important especially in Ken at Kennesaw Mountain to stay on the trail number five is to speaking of historic earthworks and in the history that's here number five is to leave what you find okay now in a lot of other parks and green spaces a lot of folks take that is to not pick too many flowers or to take other mementos but another element that that ties in with the history here is some of the artifacts so believe it or not people are still finding remnants of the battle and of the history that happened here back in 1864 Mini balls or bullets are found, belt buckles, all sorts of things. And our policy is that if you see it, take a picture of it, document where you found it, please show one of the rangers so we know where it is, but also please, please, please leave it there. We appreciate when people bring us these things and we know that they're trying to do the right thing, but it's important to keep it in historic context so that we know we can tie it into what we know happened there and to kind of just help preserve the history. To preserve it, we want to leave it alone. So leave what you find. The uh, sixth principle is very important, and that is trash your trash, all right? So with all of these people, we, can, we understand that if you drop an apple core or a banana peel or something that you may seem, that may seem as biodegradable or some small piece of plastic that in any one person, it may not seem that big of a deal. But think about if one, if every person out of that 2.6 million dropped one thing, how much the trash would start to stack up, okay? And keep in mind with your food items, not everything that you may think is biodegradable is 100% biodegradable in, or at least for, uh, after a very long time in our environment. Okay, bananas and uh, some orange peels and things like that that might not naturally grow in this area would take longer to decompose. And not only that, but it looks bad on the trail. It, it takes away from the natural scenery. And as far as trashing your trash, it will go back to the pets because a lot of folks bring their pets here. Please, please, please bag your pet's waste and dispose of it in a timely manner. Keep it with you or plan ahead. Okay, know where the trash cans are know how long you're going to have to hold it, that kind of thing. One of the worst experiences people can have and have reported having is enjoying a nice time in the green space and seeing piles of dog waste in those little bags. Okay, so please keep that in mind. Now, the seventh principle is very important, but not super applicable to this site. But I need to talk about it because we're talking about leave no trace, and that is be responsible with fire. Okay, now we, of course, do not allow camping on the grounds of Kennesaw Mountain, so people don't typically have a lot of reason to introduce fire into this environment. But we do have smokers, and so in any case, we ask you to be responsible for that and keep that in mind, okay? Especially the weather conditions and watch where you flick your cigarette butts and, what, and so on and so forth. So um, I'm going to put a link, and when I make this post, I'm going to put a link to the Leave No Trace website so that you can see and, and have more resources. There are all sorts of really fun and interesting ways to remember these things, to teach others, okay? And above all, we want to, the reason we're doing this program is for you to have a good time and to make sure that others also have a good time. If everyone can help to remember at least some of these principles and practice them as you can, then this place can stay around for much longer to come and we can all have a great time while we recreate here. So thank you for spending some time with me. We hope to see you out at the mountain this summer. And until then, see you later.